Well, a new app can help users protect a beloved animal in Minnesota at a time when our help is needed most. I was lucky enough to give it a try, which put me in a hands-on situation for the very first time. Minnesota summers means turtles on the move, slowly but surely. A speed that significantly works against them when their desired path is shared by humans behind the wheel. But what's your normal feeling if you saw a turtle in a road like this? I mean, honestly, fear, a little bit of panic, you know? I feel a lot of times without intervention, they just don't make it across the street. An unfortunate outcome Kelly Olson has witnessed. I moved into a house at the intersection of two ponds, and I noticed turtles crossing frequently and also frequently getting hit by cars. Road mortality is one of the biggest threats for turtles in Minnesota. Trisha Markle is a wildlife conservation specialist with the Minnesota Zoo, specializing in turtles, and says the reptile loves connected wetlands and moving between them. The problem is roads often split these bodies of water. Can they recognize the danger of a road? They do sense danger. They'll often kind of tuck back into their shell. They'll kind of react to traffic. They'll react to noise and vibration. But if food, a potential mate, or a nesting site is on the other side of that road, turtles will take the risk. Turtles just kind of go for it because they kind of rely on their shell to protect them, but unfortunately with a vehicle, that's not going to do the job. A study of 30 sites around the metro found that 700 turtles died while crossing roads in one year. If we scale that up across the state in our land of 10,000 lakes, we're probably looking at thousands, if not tens of thousands of turtles that are hit and killed on our roads every single year. Olson had seen enough outside her home, so she teamed up with her sister on a handheld grassroots solution, an app called Turtle Tracker. So with Turtle Tracker, we're offering a free low barrier solution where we're asking for a really simple action. See a turtle, track a turtle. So now as I'm going to load this up here. Using GPS, right the app notifies users page. of turtle so hotspots, meaning areas where road crossings and mortalities are prevalent. But most important, users track turtles. And that means you are capturing the species and location data of the turtle. And learn how to safely intervene when one is on a road. So I've just seen a turtle in the road. I want to help it. Yes. I got the app out. OK, great. First, I track it by taking some pictures from above and the side. All right, all right, we got Good the side job. photo. And then what would you like to name your turtle? Hmm, well, we're in the Stillwater area. How about Stilly? Stilly's great. The app showed me that Stilly is a red-eared slider turtle and taught me how to carefully pick it up. Okay. Lift from the sides, yep. you said, sort of like a hamburger. Exactly. Hi, buddy. Hi, Stilly. If moving a turtle, the app reminds you to carry it in the direction it was headed and place it off the road. You did a great job. <laughs> Thank you. We rescued Stilly. Moving the animal to safety was a fun and quick fix, but the long-term solution to reducing road mortality is in the data collection on the app. By identifying new turtle hotspots and crossings, conservation groups can learn where to put fences to block roads and build turtle tunnels underneath for safe passage. Knowing that this app is going to hopefully ensure their safety and educate people, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel really hopeful and excited that the community now has a way to really get involved and um, contribute data that can make meaningful change. And to make things fun, the app also rewards users badges based on their engagement. There are leaderboards showing who's been tracking turtles the most. It's an educational app, but also a social one. And it should be available for download wherever you get your apps later this summer.